Hi everybody, I'm John Lovick and today we're going to cook a 15 pound Cajun deep fried turkey. So here in the blender, I have one medium chopped onion, eight cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, three ounces of hot sauce, two ounces of a seasoning salt, and I'm going to add two cups of water. And that will be our marinade that we will refrigerate for four days. So we mixed our marinade and we're going to store it in the refrigerator. This marinade has been in the refrigerator for four days and you'll notice it has settled. So what I like to do is I like to give it a real good shake. And once I shake it, I like to open it and transfer it to another container because well, most likely I won't use all of this and I can refrigerate it and use it or freeze it. Okay, so what we have is a 15 pound turkey. I've washed it completely, rinsed it, and uh, I'm gonna dry it completely. And that's most important that you make sure it's really dry, inside and out. And what we're gonna do now, this is my favorite injector. It's a commercial injector, but you can get them uh, any size and use it. I start with filling the injector, and then I'll just start with the breasts, inject a small amount, move it around while I'm injecting it in. The key is that you want to make sure that you're moving the meat injector around as you are injecting. As you're withdrawing it, just keep injecting it. One of the legs, the same thing. And then you have these wings. Want to inject a little bit in the upper part of the wing, just a little bit, a little bit in the flat part of the wing. I like to inject the back side of the wing, just a little bit. And then down here on the bottom part, it's a really dry area. I like to really just inject quite a bit in this bottom part down here. And then just for good measure, I will flip it over again. I have a little sauce left because the breast tends to be a little bit dry. I like to flip it over again and shoot a little bit more from the top of the breast, just really moving it around. Okay, so, so we did the uh, breast, both sides of the breast. We injected both legs, a little bit in the wing, both wings, and then we turned it over and then we did the upper back and then the lower part of the bottom. Tuck both wings in so that they won't interfere with coming out of the pot. The last thing I do is I make sure one more time that I dry it inside and out, just really dry it. You're gonna be putting this turkey in peanut oil that is 350 degrees. Okay, so the turkey has been injected, we've dried it, and now we're gonna take it out and place it in the peanut oil. I'm gonna slowly, slowly lower the peanut oil. Lower the turkey into the peanut oil. I love the sound of that. That's that sizzle. This is a slow process. So it's a 15 pound bird, three and a half minutes per pound. It should be ready in 52 minutes. Okay, that's it. Take it out in 52 minutes. Okay, it's time to take the turkey out. The only thing I like to do is I like to make sure I turn the uh, burner off before I remove the turkey. So we'll pull it out. And as you can see, it is ready. We'll strain all of the extra oil out back into the pot. Okay, let's walk inside. Okay, we're going to take this bird out and put it on a board. Let this bird rest for about 30 minutes before we carve it. So it's 15 pounds. It was in for about 52 minutes. And uh, we'll let it rest for 30 minutes and we will start eating. Now our turkey has rested for 30 minutes and I'm gonna carve the first piece. And then I'm gonna call in my two Thanksgiving turkey taste testers. 
So let's do it. Why don't we start here with this breast? I'll just carve a piece off. You can see those nice veins of that marinade. I mean, I, look, I, I know it looks great. And I'm telling, it's gonna taste great. A little white meat and dark meat. And now I'm going to invite my two Thanksgiving turkey taste testers in, Ilani and Sam. So come on in and tell them what you think, guys. Oh my goodness, absolutely amazing. Wow, John, thank you so much. You ready for it? I'm ready. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's delicious. Oh I'm for a piece of the skin. Oh, mm. it's nice and crispy. Mm. It's so moist. Oh my goodness. You got that crunch, but a really moist turkey. <laughs> oh God. Thanksgiving come early. Mm. Mm. I taste a little bit of that red hot, that spicy zing to it. It's so juicy because of that. Mm. Well, I'm glad you like it. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. Now go gobble up some turkey. What I'm gonna do is strain the peanut oil, run it through an oil filter. I strain it because when I have to cook another turkey, we can cook about 10 turkeys with this oil. So we're gonna come around slowly, don't touch anything, just pour it into an oil filter. And it gets all of those things that you don't want in there. That's it. Whoa.